Hey guys, it's Rindy, and today it is time for the finale for 50 Shades of Green. We are done with green. There is another color coming up. I will be doing it, so stay tuned for that. But let's get into the products I had left. So I was down to 16 last time. And let me just show you what is left. So the first thing are the shadows that I put in here and they are looking like this. I still never got to pan here, but I think I'm very close. You can see the dip in there. So that's what's left on those. And that is not too bad. The emerald green one got used up. And so that's a few more shadows that are getting down there. And I will probably end up putting this into some other project or maybe taking them out of there so I can put other shadows into here and pan putting them back in individual pans. We will see where we go with that. The next thing on the list is the NYX Green Eyeliner. This one has not gone as far as I'd have liked it to, but it has had progress. In the last um, month since the last update it's gone from 4.588 grams to 4.49 grams so it got another sharpen and it's definitely had progress but we're maybe only halfway done with that pencil then we have the lipsticks first the pretty vulgar secret sabotage this one has seen better days I put it on today and actually had to take the stopper out but I did put it back in since it's rolling out of this project and I figured the stopper would help keep it from you know falling all over the place or from going bad um, this will probably pop up in a project soon too you can see all the windowing in there it's so so close to done so we will see that one probably in the future and then I can roll an entire actual lipstick out of my inventory the other one, the Too Faced Mermaid Tears, this is all that is left of that. And that is good progress on that as far as I'm concerned because this was close to new when I put it in here. I put it in projects and not really used it. So I'm excited that I've actually used it this year. So I will probably put this into other projects as well, but we'll see. Then we get into the face things that have been in my shower that you haven't seen on a monthly basis. The first is the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask, and it's still going. Every time I push the thing, it's one of those where you push this and the product comes out, and it's an airless pump. Every time I push the thing, I think I'm going to be at the end of it, but it keeps giving me product, so we're... we're we're still going on that. I've been putting it in my shower and using it every day when I take a shower. Um, cause when I leave it on for it's like suggested 10 minutes, it irritates my skin. So I've been putting it on after washing my face. And then once it starts to feel tingly, I've been washing it off right away. So in the shower was the easiest way to do that, but we will keep going on that and eventually it will get used up. Then we have the Freeman Clay Mint Mask. And this one might never get used up, guys. I'm so bad at using masks like this, even though I should. I should be using masks like this. I only use them in the bath, and I've really not been getting in a bath very much lately. Like, really in the last few years. So, this one is from here down to here and I think that is probably the entire year's progress because I put it up in the shower in the bathtub so that it was there and still only ever used it in the bath. <clears throat> we do then get into some empties. So first I have a surprise for you. Look what I found at the beginning of this week. This is the Skin So Soft Summer Soft School schooling cooling gel moisturizer and this reappeared uh beginning of the week and luckily there was a tiny amount of product left so it was here and i did manage to use it up this week 
So that's exciting that I could pull that as an empty instead of a lost product. It's amazing what happens and what you find when you clean parts of your house that you don't regularly get to and actually move furniture. It was under an end table in my living room and there it is. Awesome. Then the other lotion, the Spongel hand cream. This one is gone. I cut it open and I'm dropping everything today. It is done. I even scooped everything out from inside. So that is another empty on the lotion list. And then I have Eco Amenities shampoos. So I have a bottle that is empty. I have a lid from another empty bottle. But I can't tell you where the empty bottle is. I do have three that are, that are left. So there's only three and I think we started with 18. So this is what's left and so I'm not mad at the amount that we got through. So that puts us down to 11 products out of 50 that I didn't manage to fi finish up. So not a perfect score but definitely a good job and I'm proud of where we ended up. They, some of this stuff is so close and will be easy to get through before before too long. So that is everything for the 50 Shades of Green project pan for 2022 into 2023. I hope you'll stick around see the next color as we move forward into April. Um, that should be going up soon. See what I have coming in the future. Check out the other fantastic ladies in this collab. And until the next time, I will talk to you all later.